It is no surprise that patients opting for STAR's new intraocular contact lens, the Vizian ICL, want the nearly instant gratification or the wow effect we see with LASIK. Fundamental to the wow effect is that both eyes can be fixed on the same day. We have started to perform the ICL surgery bilaterally, and this trend is rapidly becoming the standard across the country. Naturally, great attention must be paid to sterile technique and patient safety. Excellent pupillary dilation is needed, as well as adequate sedation. Two sets of diamond blades, two lens inserters, two lens forceps, and two bimanual irrigation and aspiration hand pieces are necessary. I usually load the second intraocular contact lens after re-scrubbing, re-gowning, and re-gloving on a separate sterile table. This could be done while the nursing staff is re-prepping the second eye and opening the new instrument set. This practice minimizes the time in surgery and reduces patient sedation requirements. This patient presented with nearly 13 diopters of spherical myopia. Although the FDA allows us to perform LASIK on these patients, most of us prefer a more physiologic solution like the ICL. We also find these patients wear their contact lenses on an extended basis, often more than that recommended by their eye care professional. I have found an increased interest in the ICL for patients with only mild nearsightedness. This is a group that a year ago had LASIK exclusively. The safety profile is now comparable and with bilateral same-day ICL insertion, we have eliminated convenience as an issue. Many refractive surgery patients like the reversible, removable nature of this lens. The visual correction provided by STARS Vizian ICL is accomplished at the refractive nodal point of the eye. This equates to a larger optical zone when compared to that we can achieve with LASIK. The ICL causes less glare, halos, and starbursts. The ICL avoids the cornea entirely so the patients with dry eye, thin cornea, or irregular astigmatism can be treated safely. I have successfully treated a number of patients with keratoconus and form frust keratoconus without incident. Because no corneal flap is made, there are no induced higher order or spherical aberrations common in all LASIK, even in all laser LASIK. There are no flap complications, epithelial cell ingrowth, or persistent dry eye. The early visual fluctuation and later refractive regression that occur in the best LASIK surgeries do not affect the ICL patient. Epilasic has no flap and consequently no flap complications or induced higher order aberrations. But the ICL beats Epilasic in that visual recovery is nearly instant and vision in low light as well as contrast sensitivity is just as good. The Vizian ICL is an excellent option for patients who like the stability and uncompromising results possible with this new surgical technique.